8th section brocade or Padawan Jin Qigong. Section 1. Breathe in, turn the palms, breathe out. Scoop, breathe in. So this section brocade or Patuan Jin um, is a very old and uh, popular Qigong sequence. This isn't the standardized version that you see in books and videos most of the time. This uh, version was taught in Hong Kong. So section one it's very good for regulating the breath and the body movements together. Often called two hands hold of the heavens. Keep the body nice and natural and stress. warm-up or cool-down sequence so if you're going for a run or you're doing a gym session this is really good to do before or after we teach this as a as a basic qigong sequence within the Moifa Academy it's fairly easy to learn Okay, part two, draw the bow and shoot the eagle. Breathe in on the pole and breathe out. Breathe in on the pole and as you turn back, breathe out. So be careful not to lose your balance on this section. Uh, you're turning from a horse stance into a forward stance or a bone arrow stance. So it warms the legs up quite a lot. If you have any leg issues, you can always do this standing or in a chair as well. So the whole set could be done sitting down or standing naturally. But if you're fitting well, try and work the stance. So this uh, Qigong set um, is accredited by one of the legends as it's developed by the general Yu Fei, who's also um, supposed to have developed Xing Yi and Eagle Claw Kung Fu systems. So he, he did a lot of good work, if the stories are true. culture they like to accredit uh, things to uh, folk heroes okay section three so section three is separate heaven and earth so you're going to breathe in and then press up and down breathe out Change the hands, breathe in, bring the hands close together, change, breathe out. So with this section, um, I keep the body straight, I keep my head pulled up from the crown, I relax the muscles and sit into the feet.
This is how I was taught, but you will see variations on this set sequence. I often like the one where you turn the whole body as a warm up exercise. So, this is a set to stimulate the stomach. Section uh, two is uh, said to be good for the kidneys and spleen. Sixty-eight repetitions is uh, the normal recommended amount, but you can do less or more depending on your time and how energetic you feel. As with each section, breathe out, focus on the dantian. You can always massage your face, head, take a few more breaths. Okay, section four. Why is our case of backwards? So we're breathing it out as we turn to the middle, and then we're breathing it in as we turn to the side. So try and uh, use your eyes to gaze around the room or into the distance. So you're focusing your eyesight a little bit more. Try and turn the waist rather than rotate from the legs. There will be slight movement in the knees and hips, but try and engage the waist. Arms just relaxed by the sides, and then breathe in and breathe out. Okay, section five, punching with an angry gaze. So breathe in on the grab and breathe out on the punch. Breathe in on the grab, out on the punch. So I was taught this uh, breathing in now through the nose, as with the other sections. But for this part, I like to breathe out through the mouth. And that's said to be good for calming the anger. You should find that section really warms you up. So you should be nice and warm after section five. Okay, section six, we're going to bounce on the toes. So you're going to rub the kidney area, breathe in, and lift onto the toes. And then drop down at the heels, breathing out. So just use the fists to rub the kidney area for the lower back. And breathe up, as you breathe in as you come up. And as you drop down, breathe out. Okay, section seven. So sway the head and shake the tail. So breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. As with section two, just be careful with your balance. Don't lose your balance. Keep the stance nice and high unless you want to work more physical muscles and then you can drop the stance lower. So 
So uh, this is just my understanding of the set, as I was told. I have been practicing for several years. And find it really good as a basic Qigong sequence. Section 8. So interlock the fingers, breathe in, bend from the waist, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. It's a nice little stretch to finish. We're looking at different waist action, so we're bending forwards this time rather than turning. Okay, so just to finish, we put the hands on the stomach and we're going to rotate 36 times each way. So, ladies, start with the right hand on the stomach, men start with the left hand on the stomach. Top of the circle is going to be around belly button area. So you're going to uh, massage the stomach, generate more heat in that area, focus your attention onto your dantian. And you go in the direction of the fingers on the stomach. So the hand that's on the stomach, whichever way the fingers are pointing is the direction of the circle. Leave the hands on the stomach, just standing post, standing meditation posture, just breathing in and breathing out. So your two uh, acupuncture points on the palms, lao gong points, are on top of each other and they're on top of your dantian. And you can hold this for as long as you want. You can have the eyes open or closed, no, no preference. So generally for martial arts, we leave the eyes open. For pure health, you can close the eyes. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.